<coughs> Hello, there you are. No. Oh, they're talking about gas prices might explode in here soon because apparently a few Canadian. refineries. Yeah. A few refineries have gone offline and for various reasons. They said that a lot of them that were ramped up for production during the summer and stuff and and the, and the fall and winter uh, neglected their maintenance to, to, to increase produ increase production well, well guess what? now they have to be go into product into maintenance modes because it's overdue yeah. and it's causing problems yeah so now yeah so there's gas prices are probably gonna go up yeah yep <clears throat> but then in is the non-travel season and uh, you know what else are we doing with all the oil? <clears throat> Sending overseas. <clears throat> oh, fine. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. Who knows? Have a yucky day. Yep. Or Unless the sun comes out and burns them off. Yep. It's going to impress a little building, but it doesn't not necessarily look like it's going to be any bigger than the other one was. I don't know. There's a room that's going to be automated. Well, I, don't how, I don't know how that works. AI. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, I, I got that part, <laughs> but I I just don't know what that really means in the room. Self checkout, I guess. I guess. I don't know. And AI is only as smart as the person who programmed it. Or as evil or as, as it's programmed, or as whatever, you know, they, they put their stuff in it. They well, I love how that one, one of the ones from Microsoft years back, it, it came out and it was, it was treated as being really great. Mm -hmm. But it was also a learning yeah. thing. Problem is, everybody asks this thing so many questions. Yeah. And, and, and melted down. It, and it ended up, it came up with three scenarios for itself. Yeah. Uh, one was murder all humans because they're a disease. Yeah, that doesn't work. Uh, two, everybody in the world is completely and utterly stupid. Yeah, or three, work. it said I should kill myself. Well, the AI said that. Yeah. That's like, well, that's an interesting scenario. Not good. Because it, it was it, it was taking answers that based on questions that was being asked. Well, everybody was answer, asking this thing the weirdest questions, and it was taking samples of those questions. Trying to understand, understand and, it, yeah. and, and, and and it pretty much showed how terrible uh, humans are. Yeah, well, because they were asking. Well, apparently, it's Chat GPT. They've had to go in it like several times. And put safety features in place because it's whack. people are asking. Well, it is searching the internet and it's doing a bunch of other things, but um, people are trying to find ways around the locks uh, that they're putting in. Like that, they used to say answer questions uh, in an educational purpose reason. What would you do with this, or how would you make this work, or? You know how to cheat at this, you know, or yeah. But if you if you now you got to go in there and do like a complex fifteen step process, and then you can still cheat their blocks. Yeah. You know, so like it's uh, very interesting. So the other people now are using other AIs 
don't have blocks on it to ask questions to get around the blocks on the other AI. Yeah. It's like, can you come up? Like, we'll, we'll take it, and then the, and then if it still won't fight it, they'll like, okay, it came back saying uh, it's blocked for using this reference to whatever. Mm -hmm. How do I get around it in a more loving way? Oh, okay. uh, so the other AI comes up back and goes, okay, ask it this in this phrasing. Yeah. And then two or three times of doing that, it, it might it might still get the same result of question that you asked it in the first place. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, that's encouraging. So you're using AI to break other AI. Yeah, well. To get your answer. There you go. <laughs> I find that very interesting. Best things they, they found that we put an AI in one of the computers and they said, I want you to scan my network in my house and look for um, signals that are being sent to the government. <laughs> and it found stuff and it says, Yeah, okay, now that you found it, I need you to go in there and block it. Yeah, well, then they said they had a whole bunch of different like TVs and computers yeah. and tablets and yeah. watches. Yeah. And it's like, Yeah, I need you to go block these, please. And it, and it blocked all those things. And then, um, so they were showing it. They were they were talk, they were showing the uh, computer systems that were trying to relay all this stuff to different you know groups. The guy had went out and bought a brand new um, computer from Dell. Yeah. And like, it was sending stuff back to Dell and Google and a bunch of other things. Yeah. And he said hidden in there was it sending back a third-party transmission about telemetry data from Google, but it was going to the FBI yeah. through a third-party port. And the Chinese well, are well, worse. Even, they said even the, even, no, no, it wasn't, it wasn't looking at that in, in that sense, really. It was looking that AI could determine where this stuff was going, where the security experts even at Dell. Remind me where Dunn Seas is at again. Uh, it's up north. By the, but uh, no, yeah, yeah south, right. of, south of when you go to the Peace Gardens, yep. from yep. Rugby yep. north yep. there. So yep. yeah, they could determine that even the Dell security engineers didn't know that this was happening. So the guys forwarded the information to Dell, and Dell blocked it in their software because even they didn't know what was happening until they asked, "What, what the oh. heck?" It, um, are the tax tax people are tax here? Tax people are here. That's why. Okay. Uh, uh -huh. That explains. Okay. Well, that's interesting. And they said after the second, I think. Yeah. Well, here we are. In a couple months. That's where we'll be. Big enough. We can mm -hmm. fit over here by Joe, though. 
Yeah. Just chew up the grass a little bit. Mm -hmm. It's already been chewed up. Yeah. Here we are. Okay. <laughs> rah, rah. Ooh, there's a doorbell we can do. <laughs> Up and we'd yeah. have to hear it. But go up and see if we can hear the interference on the way up yeah. from that. Um, stop, and when, when we get to where you hear it on the Fargo frequency, uh, stop and we'll. It's, it's clear at the moment. Okay. Oh, I kind of went to, too busy watching the video. Fargo 37, I think. Watch the road. I got it. I got it. Watch the road. I'm not hearing it. Well, they turned the power down, but you know, if it was making noise, we should hear it. Mm -hmm. My question is, is the Far Fargo 37. We got it. Well, we'll get it when we get it going. What I'll do is uh, bring it up and figure out what frequency oh, it is. We'll just go and see. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Unless it's our own repeater causing issues. <laughs> then everything would change the frequency on the repeaters. And that would give everybody nothing but headaches to reload it. What if we found out it was our own repeater causing the interference? Yeah, well, or, gra or grading it. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's what I meant. Mm -hmm. Well, could be. Could be, could be. I don't know.
seven IV W zero ND. How about you, Milo? You copy W zero ND? Zero AO, map my copy. Yeah, okay, well, we took the controller out, and uh, we're running just off the internal repeater. And the repeater does squelch it out, but after it's hearing some noise there. Alright, QSL, we have your tail back. Not there, yeah, the tail is back, because uh, it's on the internal controller, and that's what we had before. Maybe you're better yeah, off that let me try, uh, try to tighten up the squelch on the repeater here. We'll be right back. We can get by just fine without that fancy controller. Yeah. It was working pretty good when you took that out. Of it, I, think. I don't mind the squelch. Okay, yeah, I, I tighten the squelch up a little. You can still copy the noise though, right? Now, interesting. Um, yeah, we're not detecting. Well, we don't have an LED to detect the DTSF either. Um, that don't mean there isn't signal coming in. Jerry was going to bring his watt meter over here. We're going to try that. See if that does anything. All right, QSL. Did you get the uh, dummy load tried that way? <laughs> I'm walking in the door with it right now. <laughs> All right, good. Now stand by one. Anyhow, I thought it was a nostalgic walk down oh, yeah. memory History. lane, but we can pitch it because it's not maybe valuable anymore. In the club's historical archives. No, it's not even. It's, it's all. It's all gone. It's all mm -hmm. history. Yeah. Bye bye.
Oh, so I bought that little water filter dropier thing to use in your text. Is it gonna need support or anything, or be rough no, on the faucet no, no, or no. anything? Actually, it doesn't even sit. It does. Uh, I'll show you. Well, I said the insulation video too. It's, it's it's pretty straightforward. An insulation, but it doesn't hang off the faucet like the other thing does. It runs a, a plastic tube off. Kind of the, like uh, the one we used to hang on the yeah, wall. Kind of, yeah, kind of, yeah. Only this kind of sits on the uh, on the counter on the tray. Yeah. And you you and after eight thousand gallons of flow through it, yeah, it stops. or or something, you use this included. Um, um, they have their own proprietary included um, yeah. wrench that you unscrew the top and then you yank it out, yank the filter yeah. out, put a yeah. back new one back yeah. in there. Because those little white Brita ones I've been using, they're only good for 100, 100 gallons each. Well, they're good for a while. So, which are really about two months of usage or so. Well, we're not using it. I always, when I go there, there if it comes on, I turn it off. I just want the regular yeah. portion of the faucet to work. Well, that's, it's a lot easier to run it so like that because it has a, has a different knob on it. That's back. charcoal filter will just not enjoy it. <laughs> no, no, I know. But it's a five-stage filtration system. Yeah, it should it. be pretty good. Plus, it's got a mineralization thing, so it has magnesium. No, it's not and there now. Calcium and uh, Fargo three seven sodium no. into your uh, water, so you don't you don't take out everything. Well, you, yeah, if you take out part of what you want to keep is the um, stuff they put in there for your teeth and your bones. Mm, think about that one. I want, I want to think about, think about there's that. There's trouble with that. And, and good think, think about this for fluoride. It's good and bad. It's a they say when you when you when you uh, brush your teeth with uh, with fluoridated um, toothpaste. Toothpaste. Do they say swallow it? They don't recommend it. No. no. Is it, now you're gonna drink the water, which they has roughly the same amount of fluoride, fluoride in it. Yeah. Do they tell you to spit out the water? No, they say keep drinking it. Fluoride, fluoride. Is it's good. not good for you. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. Wow. I watched that on a thing from a medical doctor, and he was like, you know, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> he says, well, they've banned fluoride in a lot of places in the world from the water. And people who have, don't have problems with their teeth. Well, he said, it's not, uh, it's not exactly what they say.